What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I hope that you guys are enjoying these daily uploads. I am definitely enjoying doing them. Thank you guys so much for all of your positive feedback on my last video, How to Beat the Bloat. If you have not watched it yet, go back and watch it if it's something that you deal with or that you struggle with. I've gotten lots of comments from you guys that you found it very helpful and very informative. And that is the kind of content that I hope to provide you guys with. So I do plan on doing a lot more videos like that. So definitely go back and check it out if you have not had a chance to yet. So appreciate all the positivity and the comments that you guys leave on my channel. It really does mean the world to me and and that's what motivates me to continue vlogging and putting out really good information for you guys. So thank you again so much for being here. I love you guys. On today's Vlogmas episode, I am going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. I posted about doing a Q&A quite a while ago and I asked you guys to send in some questions for me and I wanted to make sure that I sat down at the right time where I could answer them all thoughtfully and thoroughly for you. You guys asked a lot of really great questions and I want to try and get to all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Question number one, somebody asks, when will you be coming back to Chicago? I am actually going back to Chicago on Monday and I will be there for the entire week. I'll be there for Christmas and I come back to California on the 26th. So really excited about that. Not really looking forward to the cold, but super excited to be spending the holidays with my family. What has been your favorite competition so far? There are a few of my favorites. My first favorite was probably the Arnold Amateur. So I wasn't even pro yet and uh, I remember it was the very first like really big show that I did and I won my class. I remember my parents drove all the way from Chicago to Columbus, Ohio to come see me compete and it was just a whirlwind of a weekend. I mean, I always go into a sh every show I do with like a winner's mindset and I am very competitive, but to win a show like the Arnold was just like out of this world for me and um, I remember I got off stage, my mom still tells the story to this day, she says that I got off stage, my eyes were like as big as my entire head, I was just stunned and shocked holding my trophy and I looked at my mom and my dad and I said, I just won the freaking Arnold. <laughs> And that is definitely a memory that I will always cherish. And as you guys know, I have sent in my application and my letter to hopefully be invited to compete now as a pro on the Arnold stage. So fingers crossed for that one. That would have been my favorite show as an amateur. And as a pro, it's really hard to say because I honestly feel like all pro shows are very fun. I really do feel like there's a lot less pressure as a pro. Yeah, the ultimate goal is to qualify for Olympia. I feel like there's a lot more, I guess, uh, mutual respect backstage. The amount of girls backstage and the amount of girls competing is much smaller, so there is just a lot of camaraderie and mutual respect between the girls. A couple of my favorite pro shows so far have been the Arnold Classic Australia. The Puerto Rico Pro was so fun. I love competing in the muscle contest shows here in California. They're close to home, um, and the muscle contest crew has kind of become like family. I really enjoy those as well. Can you recommend resources for someone who is newly trying to get into competition shape? I can definitely relate to this. When I first started my fitness journey, I started completely on my own. I didn't have a coach. I wasn't a certified personal trainer or sports nutritionist at the time. I was still working as a school psychologist. I did the majority of my entire prep for my first show all through resources from bodybuilding.com. Honestly, bodybuilding.com has a plethora of so many amazing, not only training plans, but nutrition articles, nutrition resources, and just a really great online community of support. Get yourself on bodybuilding.com, create a body space. You can download so many training programs for free. I did eventually start working with a coach. Later down the line, became so incredibly passionate about it that I myself sought out my personal training and sports nutrition certifications. I myself now coach girls to get on stage for their own bikini competitions, and I absolutely love being able to do that. So I'm gonna answer Amanda's questions right now. She asks, are you a dog person or a cat person? She knows the answer to this. I'm definitely a dog person. Do you love me? Yes, Amanda, I love you. <laughs> what are you excited for in 2017? There are so many things that I am excited for in 2017. Fitness wise, I believe that I will be taking my physique to a whole nother level this year. I'm really excited to work hard to hopefully qualify for the 2017 Olympia. I got so close in the qualification points last year 
and I feel very confident that I will make it there this year and I won't stop until I do. Career-wise, I have some really exciting projects in the works. I will be sharing with you guys later down the line, so stay tuned for that. One thing that I did just launch is enrollment for my New Year's training camp. It is an eight-week online training camp starting Monday, January 9th. I run these every season, so I'm very excited to be doing a New Year's edition this time around. If you are watching this and are someone who is just wanting to get into fitness, or maybe you're sick and tired of your same old training routine, you're bored with doing the same things at the gym, or maybe you fell off track and you're looking to get back on track starting in the new year, this is going to be an amazing eight week camp and I hope that many of you that subscribe to my channel will join me in it. If you're interested, you will find all the information in the description box below. Do you see yourself competing in the long term? I take every day, one day at a time, and I try to always just listen to my heart. Right now, I still absolutely love and enjoy competing and for me prepping is sort of like the background of my life to everything else that is going on. I don't really let prep consume me or uh, take over from any of my business goals, my career goals. I don't let it take away from my interactions with my friends and my family. I very much have gotten to a place where prep just kind of happens in the background and getting on stage is sort of just like a celebration of that and it's fun. So right now, yes, I do plan to continue competing because I enjoy it, but I have always said to myself that the second competing becomes unenjoyable for me is when I will take a step back and reevaluate my priorities and what makes me happy. Right now, it does make me very happy. Being on stage is sort of my happy place and yes, I am looking forward to continuing to compete in 2017. Tacos or Halo Top? I'm gonna go with Halo Top. I'm definitely a sweets person. Favorite pizza topping? My favorite pizza toppings are definitely pepperoni and sausage, usually at the same time. Another food question. Sweet potato fries or salads for the rest of your life? That is a really tough one. If you guys know me, you know that fries are my serious obsession. I mean, like, hello. <laughs> but I love salads. Like, does it matter if I'm a week out from a show or in the heart of my off season? I just genuinely, thoroughly enjoy eating salads. I would probably, honestly, give up fries and go with salads. I know that's crazy, but can I cheat and like put sweet potatoes in my salad? That's really tough, but I think I'd go with salads. Can you recommend a safe tanning product? I want your glow, but without harmful UV or chemicals. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. One second, let me actually go get it for you guys. So I've talked about this self tanner in other vlogs before because it really is the only one that I use. I love the color, I love that it goes on without streaking, it's super easy to put on, just like a lotion and it doesn't smell bad. This is called Rosa Self Tanning. This is the Tropical Bronze. And I always keep the information about Rosa Self Tanning in my description box as well because you guys ask about it a lot. So if you're interested, check this out in the description box. Somebody asks, what do you miss about Chicago? Honestly, the only thing that I miss is my family. I miss them every single day. There's not a day that goes by. I don't care how old you get, you never ever stop missing your family. I'm an only child, so I'm really close with my mom and dad and we still talk literally every single day. We definitely have very strong communication, which helps being all the way across the country. I still do miss them. Mom and dad, I know you're watching this. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you next week. Did you prep well in school? How do you handle a super busy schedule with eating healthy and working out? I was not in school when I started prepping for my first competition. I was actually one year out of graduate school and started my first year working as a full-time psychologist. So I was very busy. I was very busy taking on a new career, learning all the new things for my job, and taking on this new challenge with fitness and prepping for a show. Definitely understand and relate to being busy and having a million and one things on your plate. The biggest tool that's going to help you is time management skills and prioritizing. Still to this day, I'm very busy and I wake up every single day and I have my morning routine and I have my to-do list and I schedule time blocks for things that I'm going to do to get things done and I try my very best to adhere to it. But at the same time, I also don't let myself get too worked up if something gets thrown off plan. That can be very hard to do, but you have to know that that's going to happen. Now, when it comes to eating healthy while you're super busy, preparation. Preparation is absolutely key when it comes to staying on track with a busy schedule. Meal prep, it's something that will be a lifesaver for you if you're busy. I personally have my meals prepped by Bite Meals so that I'm always stocked and ready to go. I'm always prepared. Can you explain the meanings behind your tattoos, like the one you and your dad have? 
The one that I, my dad and I have is um, this little anchor right here. It was something that him and I got together. It was his first tattoo, just to uh, sort of symbolize our bond. I grew up boating and on the water my entire life. Boating is a super huge part of myself and my family. So the anchor just kind of went in line with that and I feel that it also kind of symbolizes strength and that is a quality that I have learned from day one from my dad and something that I'll always cherish from him. Getting the anchor was a very special and important time in my life. I followed that tattoo up with the orchids on my arm. Orchids often symbolize strength and integrity and those are two things that are very important to me. On the back of my arm I have a verse from the book of Psalms 23 verse 4 and it says I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Those of you who know me know that my faith is very important to me. This was one of my more recent tattoos and probably one of my favorite ones. I also have the coordinates of the home that I grew up in Chicago tattooed right across my shoulder up here. I have a quote on my hip that says my ambition is my weaponry. I have angel wings on the right side of my lower back and I have a small tattoo on my foot which was my first one and it says Bella which means beautiful in Italian. Do you or Amanda plan on coming to Canada soon? I don't have any solidified plans yet. One of our besties, Randy Kennedy, lives there. I would love to get out there very soon plus Randy and I plan on putting on one of our Her Fit camps in Calgary in 2017. Definitely do plan on coming to Canada sometime in 2017, just not exactly sure of the date yet, but I will keep you guys posted. What is your ethnicity? I am mostly Italian. My dad is 100% Italian and my mom is about half Italian and half a bunch of other things. I'm about 75% Italian, hence my last name Polini, and about 25% a mixture of just a bunch of other things. What camera do you use to vlog? I use the Sony A5000. What's up guys, quick outfit change. Totally kidding, my battery died while I was filming the first portion of the Q&A. So this is actually the next day and I'm gonna finish up with a few more questions so I can get as many of them answered for you guys. Let's get right back into it. How do I handle off season mentally? not struggling with getting fluffier, not being ripped anymore. This is a perfect question for this time and this stage in my life. I'm the heart of my off season and I am definitely the softest that I have been in a long time. And if anybody tells you that it's not a struggle to see your body change in that regard mentally, they're lying to you. It is a struggle. Even myself, I've been doing this for so many years and it's not something that I ever don't struggle with. Yes, it does get a little bit easier over time. But what I have found that helps me is focusing on different goals. During prep, my goals are strictly aesthetic based, obviously. I have a certain look that I'm looking to achieve to bring to the stage, so my goals are aesthetic based. Therefore, I have to be lean, I have to be shredded. In the off season, set yourself some different goals that have nothing to do with aesthetics or the way that you look. My goals during off season were all very strength based. At the beginning of this off season, I set some target strength goals for myself and I've been keeping a training journal throughout the majority of my off season and watching myself progress. When you have different kind of goals like that, you still have something to work towards. It keeps you motivated and it keeps that pressure and that focus off of the aesthetics part of it. That's been very helpful for me. There's definitely times when I'm looking back at old photos and I'm like, man, I was so shredded. But I know that that's achievable again. I know that there's a time and a place for it. Right now is not the time and the place to be lean and to be shredded. I know that I can't put on the size and the muscle and maintain the fullness and achieve the strength that I want with being lean and being shredded. Taking the time to achieve non-aesthetic goals is so important along this journey. And, and just remind yourself that when the time is right, you can get back to that again. Did I play any sports in high school? I grew up a competitive gymnast. I did gymnastics all throughout my childhood, and then I started competitive cheer. I did all-star cheer, and then I also cheered in my high for my high school team as well. That's something that will forever be a piece of my heart and a part of my life, and was definitely something that I had to break getting on stage. As a bikini competitor, you want to be very graceful and very natural on stage, and if, if you guys know anything about cheerleaders, we're very stiff and robotic. I totally had to break my out of that bouncy robotic cheerleader movement on stage when I first started competing years ago. What would be your full day of eating if you knew it was your last day on earth? Oh my gosh, that is tough, wow. I would probably start my day with breakfast food like chocolate chip pancakes or maybe some kind of like 
peanut butter stuffed French toast or something really sweet and like heavy on the carbs. <laughs> I would have to have a really good burger and definitely some sweet potato fries. I'd probably have fries with every single one of my meals that day. Cake shake from Portillo's. All my Chicago people, you know what I'm talking about. A piece of pizza from Pequod's, my favorite pizza in Chicago. Ooh, one of those red velvet cookies that we had from City Cakes in New York. That would have to be on my last full day of eating. So good. I don't know if you're noticing a trend here, but everything is very heavy in the carbs. I definitely have a sweet tooth. 